This video shows the investigation colloquium method of doing science being used to study the palm glass, a piece of apparatus consisting of two glass spheres connected by a glass tube in which there is a red liquid. All decisions about how to explain what they observe are expected to be made by the students themselves after extensive class interaction. The teacher acts only as an advisor. If it's in really hot water and this is cold water, that means the molecules here are going to be more condensed. Well, let's and the molecules here are going to be hotter, so it's going to go up more, and I think it's going to work if it's. Oh, yes, yes, no, that's a big one. Oh my god. Yes, there we go. Now there's no more bubbles to open. Oh, when there's a bubble. That's pretty cool. Do you want to try? Yeah. Here. Here. Look at the bubbles. What if you want to try here, too? Yeah, and then you can hold it tight now. Red stuff. Yeah, and it's so good. That's just like the whoever made this curl in the glass. It goes so slowly. Look how slow it is. Oh, yeah, because it has to put it in. At this point, the teacher helps the class to assess what has been established so far. I thought someone was saying that it contained something else. Air. Alcohol? Air. Is that what Nisa said? Yeah. No, she said it she was, saying, she was saying maybe it was, somebody said maybe it's alcohol. That was the right? And another person said it might have been just dying water. Yeah. And somebody, somebody was saying, Sam, you're saying that it contains air. Is that right? It could right? be anything. Well, yeah, or a gas, but I think it's air. Yeah, I'm guessing it's air. Well, it definitely contains some air, but what are we saying for saying right now? When it comes to when it comes to saying what if you agree if you agree one with what Sam's saying, would, are we say for saying air or are we say for saying gas yeah. or what should we yeah. say? Gas includes gas. Gas includes air. Yeah. So, so why don't you say gas because an air is a gas, yeah. so. Right. It might as well so if it were like air, it would be still be good yeah. saying gas, is that right? Theories of how molecules are involved in moving the liquid in the palm glass occupy the next section. We said at the beginning that you should be careful because it was fragile. Mm -hmm. And just how glass can expand, I think that maybe it was like contracting when you press it. So like maybe, because when you're when you're holding the um the bowl the, and the heat of your hand like makes makes the the molecules inside start to move faster because when like the heat makes the molecules move faster mm -hmm. and so that the gas molecules start to bounce like a lot against each other and start to bounce off the liquid like Sam was referring to mm -hmm. and and they like um they they pushed it they were pushing it like the, the they were bouncing and they pushed it to the other then the teacher makes a comment about what he has learned. See how easy it is? I've been, I've been doing this for years, and I still said, is she right? I can't believe it. I mean, I, I should be saying, is this supporting her hypothesis, right? Further discussion follows. Do I have other comments, Lucy? Yeah. Well, there's one thing that I don't get, like, why would there be bubbles? Like, what if bubbles? Like those, there are little air bubbles inside the tube. Right. Like, why would there be that? Like, wouldn't it just be like the more? The bubbles have been getting smaller. Oh. No, I thought they were going to get bigger. Oh, over there, but like they're becoming bigger. Yeah, over they break up. They get smaller the farther along. I s so you're they saying they the further they go along, they get smaller. Yeah, because yeah. the heat's not like pushing heat. at them. The class now returns to small group discussions. Um, when the bowl was hot, it was, uh, the red liquid would stay on the surface of the bowl. Like, it was tilted, 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 now the class is asked to summarize their findings through group spokespersons. That the liquid always goes to the coolest place in the palm glass, and we did three experiments. One where we dipped it in the cold water, and all the liquid basically went into naphthol, and in the 
the hot water, the liquid what it could boil up wasn't in the hot water. And then we did another experiment where we had one bulb in hot water and one bulb in cold water. And all the liquid basically split up, so there was nothing in the middle two part. And half of it went into the, the bulb in the hot water and half into the bulb with the cold water. And there was like basically, there was really not in the middle. Glasses blown closed, so it's vibrating in a small space, so it could be expanded. Here the teacher relates his own experiences and makes suggestions about how to deal with uncertainties in the scientific process. This often happens to people and it just happened to me right now with them, where you start listening to someone and you hear the first couple of sentences they say and then you think you know what they're talking about. So my response to her was like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Sam. And then, fortunately, I listened to her some more and then I understood a bit better what she was talking about. Ideas. I have to tell you scientifically that unless you you guys at the very beginning um, proposed heat versus pressure, right? I remember you doing that, right, Leela? And Leela herself went over to heat and or cold, right? Being the thing. So I would advise you, unless you've got strong reason to believe another causative factor, you gotta stay with heat. You've got it. That's the most because because you need to explore that box thoroughly. I'll admit that in time, sometimes you come to the end of that and you go, "This ain't working," and so you try something else. But while you've got, while you're pretty sure, you've got to stay with it. Debate about whether the liquid is water or alcohol leads to the following experiment. Alcohol is evaporating a lot. No, no, it's evaporating. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Maybe it's absorbent. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't think the table is Yeah, I don't yeah, think metal. Again, discussion is followed by further experiments and further discussion. So what are you doing now? So we're going to put this inside the hot water to see if it evaporates. We put the tape here so you can see whether the, wa the water level went down. The bottom of the tape is at the level right now. Oh, you can already see the red that's moving up. You can see the red marks that's traveling there. So that's what I was saying about the blood tinted from the red, which might be, which is most likely the evaporation. And on the other side, there's liquid. Yeah, there's a lot more than there's more than before. Because remember when it was only down to before? A concern raised about whether pressure or heat from the hand causes the liquid to move leads to the following suggestion. So if you're able to somehow heat the um, palm glass mm -hmm. without any, without affecting without maybe affecting something, then it would probably fog up if it heats. Maybe it is water with some sort of like extract, some sort of uh, um, well, water with some sort of uh, accessory, yeah, uh, addition, um, and uh, when it gets heated only the water goes up and maybe a little of the um, Part of my role in the class is to make sure that we reach common agreements because if we haven't and somebody keeps quiet about something, then we don't really know what their ideas are. Does this experiment show that we have evaporation occurring? Here. Yeah. We return here to a discussion of the behavior of bubbles in the palm glass. Um, so they're like air, they're gaps in between, well bubbles pretty much, and then they get smaller when they get closer to the bigger body of water.
What I think is happening right now is that all of the hair in this bowl right here, what the hand is, is pushing the liquid starting from there, and that makes the bubbles go through the liquid. But the air in here, which the bubbles are going through, are pushing back this way. So I think that's why the liquid is staying where it is. At this point, the teacher hands out diagrams onto which, as a summarizing exercise, students are asked to describe what is happening at strategic points. Yeah, gas, and also whatever that evaporated. Alana, you've changed your ideas? Yeah. How so? Because before, I thought that it was air, but then I realized that like if it was air, then eventually this would become too high pressure and it would start pushing back, but it never does. So I have to change it. So different idea. I think I'm changing it to like vapor, and before I thought that it couldn't be vapor because it would turn back into a liquid, but when we put the alcohol on the table, just at room temperature, it already evaporated, so this wouldn't have to cool because it's room temperature, so it's hot. And then this isn't evaporating into the air because Dr. Fenton said that if there's really high pressure, then it might stop evaporation. So. This pressure was greater than the pressure over here, but it there wasn't in, it, it wasn't dense enough to cause the liquid to push back over into this bowl. Okay, all I can say to you is that the only thing that solves scientific problems is evidence and logic. Evidence and logic. Whether you like the idea or not, it's evidence and logic that solves it. Does that make sense? So you have to go with evidence and logic. If you go with evidence and logic, even if it's not the right idea, you're still doing good science until you find a test that proves you're wrong. Does that make sense? So I know you, you, you've got to make up your own decisions now, okay? You've had a lot, you've done some splendid thinking. Well done. The project ends with the completion of the diagrams, during which discussion continues unabated. Is there evaporated liquid in there? <laughs> but how no. can that be? Because that's the that's the um the, that's where the bubbles are. Yeah. Liquid. It's not. It's, this is not evaporated liquid. No. The bubbles are. Yeah. There is still time to change one's mind. Around the same idea, but I'm saying that there's a lot of heat and energy in. Yeah, it's going into the fish and calling colder and then it's getting...